Hard Chat. Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by best-selling author of the book I Quit Sugar, Sarah Wilson. Thanks for joining me. Hello. Let's chat. Hard! <laughs> now, you've written several books about quitting sugar. If they worked, shouldn't there only have been one book? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good point. Yeah, because it should be I Quit Sugar and then you've quit. That's the end of it. See you later. That's it. Mm. But, I mean, I'd understand it if the books were called I Quit Sugar, then the next one's I Ate Sugar, mm. and then I Quit Sugar again, then I Ate Sugar again, and then I Really Have yeah. Quit Sugar, and then, oh, my God, I Ate Sugar again. Maybe the title should have been I Quit Sugar. You can give it a go if you like, but I don't hold out great prospects. I'll work on that one. I read in your book that you had a meltdown in Italy after you ate a chocolate croissant, so you had to lie down under a tree for a couple of hours to recover. Uh, that sounds like something my two-year-old would do. Mm. Are you an adult? <laughs> um, yeah, that, that kind of is known as croissant gate, actually. Known by who? Only you? <laughs> Is it true that you completed a course at the US-based Institute of Integrative Nutrition? That is true. I wouldn't quite call it a course. What is it? It's kind of a interesting meandering through different dietary theories of varying reputation. Right. Is this the same course that was done by the well-known scientists Miranda Kerr and <laughs> Pete Evans? I believe so. Is it true that you think people shouldn't use sunscreen? I personally What don't do you recommend? A shirt. A shirt. And a hat. But what should I do? I've got fair skin. Like, if I don't wear... Like, I'd have a minute. Yeah, maybe just work with the pasty look. It's working for you. I usually just try to stay out of the sun between February and... the next February. <laughs> <laughs> the book you're promoting at the moment is called First We Make the Beast Beautiful. It's about anxiety. Mm -hmm. Given that it's about tackling anxiety, do you feel that doing hard chat might be a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> that did cross my mind, but so too writing a book about anxiety, that pretty much takes you through the ringer. You often find that I combat anxiety. Like, sometimes I get anxious when I have to perform on TV. Yeah. And I find it's very easy to get over when I remember that TV doesn't mean shit. Yeah. <laughs> like I was on the Today Show... Uh, good on example. Channel 9. Good example. A very good example of mm. TV not mattering at all. Yeah, I found that some of my best turning points were doing reality television. Yeah, because the yeah. bar's really low. Yeah. And all you have to do is just step over it gently. Yeah, grimness is a really good pivot point for a lot of things, I find. OK. <laughs> all right, Sarah, thanks for chatting. Hard! Hard chat.